My name is Rodney McMillan. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, and I live here in Los Angeles, California. I've been here for 18 years now. So I'm working on a panorama. It's a large-scale painting that's roughly 88 feet long by about 14 feet tall, and the, um, the height is the height of the, of the space. Your body will have to orient itself to see the whole thing. It's a pretty large painting. <laughs> the process of working on this painting is quite physical. I do a lot of walking back and forth to try to see the whole thing because I can't take the whole painting in. There are gallons upon gallons of house paint that I've used as well as lots and lots of ink and then acrylics as well. And then there was just lots of gel medium just to get the fabric uh, adhered together. It's quite heavy. I often use industrial materials because they are affordable and they're available and I could get them in bulk. I still won't pay a lot for that muffler. <laughs> I think there's a lot of content to those materials that I can mine from those materials. I've found that I'm able to work with them in a way that speaks to ideas around the landscape that I'm interested in talking about. Ideas around fluidity, uh, temporality, because uh, those paints aren't the most archival. You know, they're gonna shift a bit. It's gonna take a long time, but that, that is a component, right? And we, as a species, you know, we as creatures, we, we evolve and the land shifts and evolves as well, so. I mean, everything that we use is of this earth. So the piece has a soundtrack. I was stuck on the 110 and Bruce Springsteen's uh, Born in the USA came on. That sunny day um, on the 110, I heard it as if for the first time. I heard the lyrics. And so I knew that I wanted to work with that song. I knew I wanted to work with that song within the context of a landscape. And it's also why I chose Home from The Wiz, because I, I found it to be an aspirational song. And it's all about concepts of home, ideas around it. So I thought about this land that we share and then ideas around what landscape means. A lot of people view landscapes as apolitical. I would say that that is the result of a wonderfully effective indoctrination machine. I'm from South Carolina. I don't recall ever looking at the landscape as a pastoral scene. I've always encountered it as a space of work, as a space of ownership, as a space of, of, of oppression because of the toil and the blood and the rape and murder that has existed in that land. So how do we not only sort of see ourselves in each other, but recognize that the forces that are contributing to more and more people experiencing homelessness Touch us all. These conditions persist to this day. The inequities in education, inequities of environmental sites like Flint, Michigan, conditions around homelessness. These are conditions that we've inherited because they have been languaged through policy and through government, through law to be that way. And because they have been done that way, they can also be undone. And I'm interested in the undoing of that. And so within my tiny little field and my little vocation, this is what I do.